Hey people, hey all, good evening and welcome to another session of Tech Tablet Daily Dose with me, Varun Rao. So in today's session, let us just go ahead and let us just pick up things where we left yesterday. Alright, so yesterday we have worked on an HTML application in which we have created an application header and we've created a form and this was our output. Right, so now what we'll do is let us just go one step ahead and let us just complete this page so now what i would be doing is or what i have actually done rather is i have added six images here or five images with these names they have just been directly dragged and dropped from the desktop into the web content folder and they would appear here so you can also do the same thing you can download you have the option of downloading different uh, file formats uh, JPG is what I found. So yeah, JPG. I've, I've, I've just copied all these file formats or yeah, image formats into my system and into my local web content folder. And now what I would be doing is let me just go ahead and create another element. So in order to save time, I have just I've just worked on it and I've just so let me just paste the table. Okay, so this is how a table would be created. So what I'm doing is I've just taken a variable with the name table table o and i've given its properties and this would be the class so i've given its properties and it would be visible row count which is 10 and i've added different uh, okay i've added two columns and to two columns i've added two properties that is label and template and my label is employee number being the first label and my second label or my second column would be the name all right so now let me just save this okay so here i go i have saved it and now i would want to run this let's see if we have an output or not okay we are bound to have an error because i believe that we have not added the libraries here for sap ui table okay so now what i would be doing is i would be adding the class sap.ui.table now let me just save this now I'm going to the output, refreshing the same page to see if there would be any difference in the output. Great. And now we have a table here. Okay, so now if you just want to add another column, all that you've got to do is copy this, control C. Okay, you got to copy till here. Control C. Control V and I would like to name this as address. saving it going back to my output to refresh and see if my table is rearranged great and it is so I have three columns uh, with three different titles employee number name and address so now I'm done with this part of creating a table all right so now let me just go ahead and I'll just create a drop down a, a, a very small drop down okay so we'll see how a drop down works Okay, so in order to create a drop down, the first thing that I would be doing is, as we know, there's there's nothing new to it. We would be taking or we would be specifying the class. So in order to specify a class, I would be using a variable, and I would like to name it as O drop down. Okay, done. Okay, so now this O drop down would be new SAP dot UI dot comments. It would be a part of this class and it would be a drop down box all right so now i have this but then i don't need any of these so let me just delete them i just want to name it as drop down box one okay and now because this is the name i would just like to copy this and now we'll see how it can be used so i would just like to set a tooltip for this so that whenever i use a tooltip you know i would be having an indication as to what it is being used for we'll see when we have an output okay so this tooltip will show me that it is for the country 
alright and now again I'm trying to set various properties to it and it should be set editable okay I would like to set this as editable and this would be true because this is a boolean here okay and then I would also like to set the width okay and I'm, 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 I'm just giving this as 200 px and just not playing a lot with this okay now I am closing this as well okay now it's closed now I, I want I would want to create items for my drop down because we do not have any data field or you know we do not have any backend data coming so now let's just locally name a couple of you know countries so for that I would like to take another thing that would be variable o item okay and to this I would like to add a class it would be sap.ui.core this time we're using core values and it would be list item all right and now i would just like to name different countries here okay i'm just giving it an id first okay and now i would be naming a country and it would be o item all right and this o item would use set text and the text would be Canada so this is what I would like to add right now and let me just close this okay so I have closed it <coughs> okay so just let me now add this because unless you add an item to it there's no point in uh, you know you creating anything Okay, there's one mistake which I have done guys it's I have to write the variable name here I have not taken a note of that so let me just rename all these okay so now that's done okay so now I have saved it now we are all you know in consistency okay and now I have created a variable which is o item given it assigned it an ID now given it a name now I would like to add this okay to the drop down okay so it would be add item and I would like to add what I would like to add the o item which we have named in the variable above okay so I'm closing this again now after closing this I have to you know place this drop down in the content so in order to place this in the content i again have to give this o drop down okay and it would be place at and it would be content saving just to check if we have an output first then probably we can go to the data part okay great so we have a drop down here but there's no value there's only one value in it which is Canada that we have we and that too that's the value which we have given so now let me just copy multiple of these control V control V okay so now I have one Canada I have one India and I have one America okay and now I'm just saving this output refresh okay now I do not have a drop down at all which me okay which means I cannot assign the same ID to all of these so I just have to change the ID so now I'm saving this again coming back to my index now I am refreshing the project okay I have it again and now I have my drop down as well but then what I would be doing now is let us just see how do we set a 
default value okay now in order to do that what i would be doing is uh let me just do this and after this i would just like to assign this set value and i would like to set value to let's change let's not keep it canada we'll put it as india okay and now i would like to close this refresh the page <coughs> Okay, so now we have India as the default value, but then we have Canada, India, and America in the values as well. Okay, so now that is how a drop down works. So now we have seen how to create a table and a drop down as well. So now let us just take a look at one last feature that is how to add a carousal. And in order to add a carousal, we would be using uh, uh, these images. Okay, so now let us just begin with the carousal so now in order to create a carousal okay guys now if you do not if, or if you're not familiar with any of these images i would request you to just browse through the scp pages and you would find a lot of information a whole lot of information trust me on this so now i'll begin with the variable and i'll you know let's not keep any challenging names i would just like to name it a carousal only or o u Yes, so this is how we spell carousal. So it would be a new SAP dot UI comments dot carousal. Okay, so we have a camel casing here, and that is to be adhered. Okay, now I'm closing this. So now that O carousal is the name of my variable, I'll have to keep this copied. Uh, I'm ready to paste so now I would like to set the width of my carousal and that width I'll just give it a hundred percent closing now I would also like to set the orientation okay and this orientation would be horizontal Alright, now I've closed this also. So now let me just start adding images into this. So now in let, let us go step by step. So the first thing that I would like to do is the name of my variable followed by add content because here we are trying to add an image. So I would like to add content and it would be uh, an image, right? So now let us just give the class for an image. So it would be new SAP dot UI dot comments dot image. All right. So now after we are done, let us just open another bracket. Okay. So this is the open bracket here. All right. Okay. Please be careful with the brackets, guys, because they are pretty confusing and we might only end up you know getting tangled between them which is not what we want okay so now i have just given it an id and now i would like to begin my flower brackets okay so now my flower brackets are also done now i would like to give the properties or i would like to assign properties of my image so first would be source okay and it is let us begin with sci.jpg which is my last image added because we have more properties to be assigned i would like to finish it with a comma now i am adding the width let it be 200 px it goes with another comma and i'll add another property that would be height and height would be 150 px okay now here the comma ceases okay because there's no other property 
okay so now i've added a, 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 a value or i've added a image to this now i have to place this at the content okay so let me just place it in the content and in order to do that it would be control v dot place at with the a capital and i would like to place this in the content closed saved okay let's just wish and all the best i hope this works perfectly refreshing is done waiting for an output okay so here we have this guy so which means our our carousal is working successfully and we do not have any problems in working with it okay so now let me just go ahead and see another image and we'll see if that also is successful in working or not so now i would like to add another image so in order to do that i'll just copy paste this control c control v but then now the name changes here i also have to change the id or else we would be repeating the same mistake and here the name would be images which is this guys if you're able to see uh, that i have imported the same the name should be just the same the same casing just the way it is you cannot just have or uh, adopt changes the way you want so now i'm done that saved refreshing great i have another image too so now we have images also so guys this is what i wanted you to understand in uh, this okay just before we go i would just like to show you a very small example okay now that we have a drop down let us just try adding drop down to content to content is like a division it's like a div, uh, how we assign div. So let us see what, how do we add another content so that, you know, we have a better understanding of things. So I'm just letting this div or division be just the way it is. So I would just like to apply a break. Okay. It's a line break. So I've applied it. And now I would just copy this small piece of code here and just rename it as content 2 and now I have my drop down in content 2 so now I have saved this let me just go to the index let me just refresh this and see what happens and now we'll understand what happens if we assign them to 2 okay now we do not have a drop down below the table the drop down is shifted here so it means that all this till the carousal is a part of content 1 and this drop down is a part of content 2. Now, if we happen to add carousal also as a part of content 2, then I think carousal should go or should move be below the drop down. So, let us just check why I have a doubt on that. So, I'm saving this, going back to my output, refreshing this, and let's see. Yes, so now we have our, our drop down back on the top which means that carousal and drop down are now in one div or they are in one container and the rest elements are in another container. So I hope you have understood how to use uh, certain elements and how to use their properties. So we have seen how to create an application header. We've seen how to create a form, a table, a drop down, a carousal, and we've also seen how to export and how to use, or sorry, how to import and how to use images. So I hope this was helpful. In the upcoming video, we shall look at how to create views with JavaScript and we shall also look at how to create views with XML followed by data binding, followed by consumption of JSON. Yeah, so we'll just look at examples step by step. And at the end, we'll also look at mobile applications. And then I would post interview questions on mobile application programming and Fury and, and UI5 with the help of uh, colleagues, with the help of other participants, with the help of my trainees and with the help of my trainers and all those people who are associated with this. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have learned something new today and something useful. Keep practicing. I wish you all and all the best and a great tenure ahead. Thanks a lot.